Now, let me get a signal going. All right, now what are we looking at? We're looking at 500 hertz. Why? Uh, well, just because. I don't care. Um, and it's not too offensive on the ears. Now, listen. When I move this guy over to the other end of that bias resistor. So, have a listen. Wow, there's so much overdrive available. We have it about halfway up. Listen. Listen. You hear that? Obviously you did. Three, two, one. So you know, you already know what I want to do, but we're not going to do that. And why are we not going to do that? Because it's going to destroy that speaker is why. By the time you're developing overdrive from the, the phase inverter or preamp end, your speaker's just hanging on for dear life, and it's just a matter of time, Jules. Um, so, why don't we take this, why don't we take this same um, cap here and, and bypass one of the cathodes in the preamp end? I'm going to leave this uh, grounded here. That's not where it should be uh, grounded over here with all the dirty uh, high ripple stuff. But let's just hear what it would be like to get a little more gain out of the preamp where it's not gonna impact the speaker. Let's put her on four. We already have some clipping there. All right. And here we go. One, two, three. That's a lot more overdrive with not a whole lot of decibel increase in overall output. 